In this video, I'm going to be explaining you what Lambda functions are and we'll see how to use them and make our Python programs more and more efficient. So what I'm going to be doing is I will be opening my Python tutorial series and I want you guys to access that so that you have access to all the videos that I'm creating here. Also make sure to bookmark this playlist and save this playlist for yourself. Now I'll be coming to Visual Studio Code and I will create a new file and let me call it tutorial32.py so what I'm gonna be doing is I'll be opening a new file I'll say tutorial32.py and let me write some code inside this tutorial32.py so what I'm gonna be doing is I'll say print and then I will say hello word and I'll control s to save and I will run this and you'll see that I have this print hello word which means that my program is working fine so i already told you about functions and you must now be knowing that if i have print n function and let me say i have uh, the value n and if i say for uh, i in range n i can say something like print and I can say string where string is some random string that I want to print n times and if I write uh, let me say if I write print n and I can use this function and I can say something like uh, uh, let me say Harry and I'll say something like uh, 56 is too large of a number I'll say 5 and if I run this you'll see that Harry is printed 5 times so this is a normal function and we have already talked about this function but what is a lambda function let us say I want to create a function and uh, I want to multiply two numbers so what I'll do is I'll say uh, mul is equal to a multiply by b and I'll say something like return mul but I can do something else and uh, I can do better in terms of number of lines of code. So if I say something like multiply and I say 5 and 4 and let me assign it to a variable and I will say something like print C and you will see 20 on your screen no surprises uh, hello world 20 and uh, multiply function ran when I executed it for 5 and 4 but can I do something else yes I can and this is what lambda functions are so what I'll do is I'll zoom in a bit I'll close the explorer and I will write multiply function uh, an alternative for multiply function in fewer lines of code so I can say something like multiply is equal to lambda. So lambda is a keyword as you can see it uh, changed its color to blue. And now I can pass the arguments that will take I'll say A and B and then write a colon and I'll give the return value. So I want to return A multiply by B. So this is a one liner wherein I created a function whose name is multiply and which will get A and B as input and will return A multiply by B. So these kind of simple functions can be written in one line using lambda function. But let us see whether they work or not. So what I'll do is I'll again run my program and you can see that I have this 20 printed uh, which means that my multiply function is working as expected so this is how lambda functions work but you might be thinking where to use lambda functions so, and why are they handy well the correct answer to this question and the correct explanation of this question will come with practice when you'll go to different repositories you will start working on open source projects and you will start exploring more of Python but again lambda function is something that you should know exist in Python uh, I love also right here uh, lambda functions are also called so let me write lambda functions functions or anonymous functions so lambda functions are also called anonymous functions if you don't know about it and I'll just write control s to save and uh, print n is a function I just wanted to show you some function so I wrote print n uh, if we are not using it whatsoever um, and we wrote multiply function in three lines of code we could have done the same thing in one line and for that we use lambda functions now you might be thinking can we pass multiple arguments and can we do something complex here so if i return a plus b a multiplied by b plus 5 i can do that as well so the answer to this um, the output of this program will be 5 multiplied by 4 plus 5 which is 25 so you can perform as many operations as you want and you can even supply multiple inputs so if i have a b c d and i have a multiplied by b multiplied by c multiplied by d uh, i can supply something like this Two and two once again control s to save 5 multiplied by 4 is 20 and 20 multiplied by 4 is 80 
so I should see 80 on my output window as you can see that I have this 80 printed on my output window. So I can supply multiple inputs to my Lambda function and I will get multiple outputs as specified in return. So this is how Lambda functions work. One of the most asked questions from Python programmers is that why use Lambda function? The correct explanation to this question uh, will be given to you by yourself when you practice more and more. But let me give you a little taste of when you should use Lambda functions. So let us say you want to return a function from a function or you want to supply a function as input to some other function. In those cases, you can use Lambda functions. But again, if this is not clear to you, that's totally fine. For this video, I want you guys to understand that there is something called Lambda functions in Python and you can specify multiple inputs and you can have uh, whatever you want as output uh, in terms of input. So if you want to evaluate a simple function or you want to add two numbers, multiply two numbers, divide two numbers, you can use this syntax and the return value of lambda function is a function and it should be used like this uh, just like other functions so you create a function first and then you use that function just like a normal function so this is how lambda functions work i hope this is clear to you and you will definitely understand more of lambda functions when you practice more and more uh, i want you guys to access this playlist as soon as possible if you haven't already and also let me know how this course is going i want you guys to write some comments for me and i will definitely read your comment in fact i read all the comments so i'll be giving you love on your comments if you write me awesome comments do not forget to access this playlist and bookmark it for yourself make sure to like this video guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time